What's up, internet? Sayang lang yung mahal mong GPU. Sasakit mata mo after prolonged use. And generally, di mo ma-enjoy yung computer mo kung mali yung monitor na binili mo. Pero paano natin masigurado na tama yung monitor mo for your PC build? Do you need it mostly for work or for gaming? Or professional ka ba na kailangan ng sobrang taas na color accuracy like video editors or photographers? Because depending on your use case and getting the proper monitor for your use case, malaki talaga yung savings na makukuha natin. Kasi may ibang specs yung monitor na hindi mo naman kailangan for your use case. So sa video na to, pag-usapan natin how to get the best monitor for work, for gaming, and for professionals. At yung criteria natin will be three things. Price, specs, and size. Based on a recipe of those three criteria, do natin masasabi na ito yung best for office, ito yung best for gaming, and ito yung best for professionals. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, halito! Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working cdkey ka na para sa windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com So this is an office monitor, 22 inches from AOPEN. Tapos mid-size yun for an office monitor. Yung lower range ng office monitors is around 19 inches. Malaki na yung 24 inches. And the first criteria that you can forget, wag mo nang problemahin for office monitors, are the specs. You don't care about the specs for an office monitor. Kung may G-Sync ba yan, kung IPS ba yan, di ko na nga ipapaliwanag yung mga terms na yan because you don't need to know them. Maybe the only spec you might want to consider is the blue light filter or blue light setting. But even then, to be honest, that's not something I worry about for office monitors. So yung concern ko for specs office monitor is basically zero. Yung dapat mong tutukan is the price and the size. For an office monitor, you want the highest size for the lowest price. Sobrang laking quality of life improvement for the employee, or kung ikaw, kung ikaw yung work from home, larger size monitors, you can have multiple windows open. Laking tulong nun if you're researching, naka-open yung browser mo, tapos yung email mo naka-open. You can do so many things with a larger size monitor. Nabangit ko kanina na 24 inches is already large for an office monitor, but if you can get larger, get larger. Size really matters, especially sa monitors. So don't worry about the specs, but focus on the largest monitor for the lowest possible price. Para lang ballpark figure, we do have an MSI monitor 24 inches around 9,500. Medyo high end na yun. There are other brands that are cheaper, AOPEN, HK Vision, and Vision. May mga lower tier monitor brands naman, pero medyo alanganin to be honest ako sa quality. But a good quality monitor like the MSI one that we sell, 24 inches. But if you can get bigger, get bigger. And if you notice here sa office monitor, yung text, okay naman siya. Yung problema, I've seen sharper, I've seen crisper. Hindi yun kasalanan ng office monitor, ganun lang talaga siya. Uh, it's just really the quality of what you expect from something of this size for this price. Good enough for the job, but nothing superlative. This is a gaming monitor, ASUS 24 inches, 144 Hz. Specs matter for gaming monitors. But what kind of specs you need depends on what kind of gamer you are. Yung tawag ko sa kanila, story gamer or shooter gamer. Simula tayo sa shooter gamer. This is the kind of gamer na most of the games you play, FPS, and you need super fast refresh rates. Crazy refresh rates like 165 hertz pataas. Yung thinking nung shooter gamer is that the screen needs to update very, very fast so that he can react very, very quickly to the actions on screen. Basically, kung mamabaril ka ng tao, it's useful if you can react right away to when the enemy comes out on screen. Lahat ng specs para dun sa shooter gamer monitor para sa high refresh rate. That's really the number one spec that you look for. 
So the type of panel that you'll get is usually VA. In general, VA panels are capable of higher refresh rates than an IPS panel. May lumang panels called TM. Sometimes some manufacturers still use them for esports or high refresh rate monitors. Basically, yan yung hinahanap mo na panel, either VA or TN. Generally, yan yung mataas na refresh rates at a good price. Yung ibang specs, ganun din, in support of a high refresh rate. So kung NVIDIA graphics card, you look for G-Sync. Kung AMD graphics card, you look for FreeSync. For the size, usually yung esports, most gaming monitors na pang shooter gamers are called esports monitors. Habol mo 24 inches, medyo malaki na yung 27 inches, and medyo may argument, uh, kanikan yung preference yan, but generally, yung makita mong monitors for that type of user, 24 inches. Yung price, uh, you really have to pay a little bit more, but compared to an office monitor. But there are well priced esports monitors, again, depende sa brand, na mabilis naman yung refresh rate nila, what 165 hertz pataas. So you don't need to worry too much about the price. Yung specs na talaga nahanap mo for a shooter gamer in a monitor is yung refresh rate. And a lot of that has to do with the panel that you'll use. Although, may mga monitors naman na IPS panel, like this one from BenQ, IPS panel, pero 165 hertz naman siya. So you can get different kinds of panels with higher refresh rates. Pero usually, yung pinaka value for money would be a VA panel kung refresh rates lang talaga habol mo. Yung next natin na gaming monitor is for the story type of gamer. And this is the BenQ EX2780Q. Yung gusto ng story gamer, ma-immerse siya sa anong game linalaro niya. And mostly for this type of gamer, medyo eclectic yung taste. Pwede siya mag-RPG, pwede siya mag-first person, pwede siya mag-strategy game, racing game, flight sim game. So yung monitor para sa kanya, kailangan very versatile. On the spec side, you don't need super fast. Around 144Hz is usually okay. Yung habol ni Story Gamer, parang mapasok siya within the game. So you want a better screen. So you definitely want an IPS or at least a VA screen. 144Hz. And either G-Sync or FreeSync depending on what GPU you have. For the size, so medyo iba to dun sa previous gaming monitor na pinag-usapan natin na habol lang talaga natin yung speed of refresh rate. 165Hz pataas usually, especially kung pro gamer ka. Para sa story gamer, mas importante yung display quality. On the size side, at least 27 inches, yun nga dun sa pro gamer, mga 24 inches, yun yung average size, okay na yun. But for the story gamer, Larger is definitely better because it's more immersive yung experience. So at least 27 inches, like what I have here, you can go up to around 32, 34. Tapos curved, sobrang mahal na yung mga yon. But yung ideal experience mo is to bring you into the game. Dahil don, medyo mahal talaga yung mga monitors for story type of gamers because they need to check a lot of the specs. At least 144 hertz, medyo mabilis na yon. At least some kind of sync. Yung sync na bagay si GPU mo, whether G-Sync or AMD FreeSync. Yung size, at least 27 inches, at least for me. And an IPS panel. So a quality story gamer monitor will set you back a little bit. Di mo maiwasan yung price talaga sa type of monitor na to. Because you do need to check a lot of specs. You do want a larger sized monitor. If you're into games and you like the story and you want to be in that world, Tapos medyo kulang cool yung monitor mo. It's like that last bridge that will bring you into the game. And for story gamers, your optimal resolution is 2K, so that's 1440p. 4K is a bit too high. Realistically, you need a very expensive graphics card to be able to enjoy 4K gaming. 2K is nice because the added resolution gives you more details compared to 1080p. Yung competitive gamers kasi masaya na sila sa 1080p. Basically, basta makita nila yung kalaban nila, mabilis yung refresh rate, good to go na sila. But yun nga, immersion yung habol mo sa story gamer monitor, 2K would be a good resolution to shoot for. Medyo mahal, but yun nga, at the end of the day, kung masaya ka naman sa gaming, it is a worthwhile investment. Yung final na display type is for professionals, and behind me is the ASUS ProArt display. PA279VC. Yung hinahanap po sa professional display, number one, at least 4K. Yung ibang types of users, 
1080p, 2K is fine, but really for professionals, gusto mo ng 4K resolution. The refresh rate doesn't need to be that fast. Yung nga, di ka gaya ng mga gamers. Itong Pro Art na to, 40 to 60 Hz lang siya, which is more than enough for professional uses. And yung hinanap mo talaga yung color accuracy and color range. How well can the monitor display color? This usually naka measure yun sa color gamut. How wide a range of colors can the monitor show? Nice to have rin kung marami siyang input options like itong Pro Art na to, may USB-C na siya because a lot of professionals deal with external storage. Tapos malalaki yung files na nandun, either video or photos. So sobrang convenient talaga kung may USB-C type port na yung monitor, dun man nalang ipa-plug in. Di ka na maghanap sa likod ng computer mo for a fast USB port. Now I make videos for YouTube pero hindi ako papanggap na professional video editor or photographer ako. <laughs> So my experience with pro monitors is very limited. Um, although yun yung masaya sa trabaho ko, I do get exposed to tech that I ordinarily wouldn't have access to. But yun nga, I'm not qualified to review or even go into the specifics of a professional monitor. Hindi ko naman talaga ginagamit sa pang araw araw ko. I don't have a lot of experience with them. That said, yung limited experience ko dito sa pro art. Uh, it's a bit hard to tell the difference from my usual 2K gaming monitor. Like itong footage sa likod ko of the Asus EVA Colab shot in 4K, the image is just a bit crisper than what I would ordinarily see on my ordinary 2K gaming monitor. Although mas noticeable talaga na sobrang sharp ng text. I think the uh, compared to any other monitor I've seen, sobrang linaw ng text na I can read it even from far away. Aside from those small touches though, ako as a neophyte, as a novice, hindi ko ma-distinguish masyado. I mean that wide color gamut. This is actually a very well-reviewed <laughs> pro monitor. But uh, yun nga, to my unprofessional eyes, hindi ko masyado ma-appreciate kumpara dun sa mga gaming monitors na usually gamit ko. But if you're looking to get a professional monitor, yun yung mga specs na hinahanap mo. Price, medyo mahal talaga sila. Size, usually it's around 27 inches. You don't need that large. Yung nga, gaming monitors, the larger the better. Sa mga pro monitors, a wide screen or yung may mga curved sometimes helps, especially for yung mga editors. As the more screen you have, the easier it is to do your job. Although size wise, usually 27 inches is the average for a pro monitor. Tas yun yung mga specs ni hanap mo. You don't need fast refresh rate. You do need 4K. You want a pro monitor with a wide color gamut. Kasama dun yung color accuracy, color range. Because as a professional, you want to be able to see all of those colors para mapili mo rin sila. I mean, you can tell in post, you can work on it in post kung what kind of look you want to give each color. Yun nga, I'm a novice. I've never used a lot in my life. Pero <laughs> I had a good time playing around with a pro display just to see if I could tell the difference. I'll keep using the pro monitor a bit more and see baka gawin kong future review total beginner approaching a professional monitor. So I hope nakatulong tong video na to sa pagpili ng monitor. Depende talaga sa use case mo. Kung pang office lang naman, huwag ka mawili dun sa mga oo, uh, kailangan ko ng gaming monitor. Oo, uh, parang maganda pakinggan yung specs na yan. 165 Hz, hindi mo magagamit yan sa opisina. Unless you work here at Hardware Sugar na yung mga tech namin, opisina nila to, pero kung ano nung ginagawang kalokohan na testing ko no. But for regular offices, you don't need those specs. Kung professional ka, you don't need high refresh rates. Get a monitor with good color accuracy, high color gamut. So makakamura ka kung piliin mo yung monitor na bagay sa use case mo. Don't be concerned na nakita ako sa advertisement, kailangan ko nung IPS panel, kailangan sabi kasi ni ano, kailangan ko ng high refresh rates. Tutok ka lang sa specs na kailangan mo for what you need. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site. 
www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.